Welcome to another Parent Teacher Video Lesson from the EarlyGiftedManual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Welcome everyone to lesson 20. Uh, this lesson is called Reciting and Recognizing the Numbers 0 to 100. And you will only need two uh, things for this lesson. Uh, you will need a 0 to 100 number line, and uh, we'll get to that here very shortly. And you will also need the printable 0 to 99 number grid. And of course, you can get this printable on the early gifted manual. And this is the 0 to 100 number line. I'm going to try to slowly pan all the way down. It takes up the entire floor of my studio. I just had enough room for it. It's 30 feet long and uh, you'll have to take my word for it. I could walk down, but I think you get the idea. It goes all the way down to 100. Um, 30 feet long uh, in 10 sections. I put it together in, in 10 sections. Um, and of course, you can make your own. This is, commercially, uh, this is a commercially uh, produced product. So uh, the best ways to put this, if you can, is on your wall. Um, and of course, it's, it may be very difficult for you to find 30 uh, free feet of space on your wall. That's kind of tough. However, it can go around corners and into corners, and kids really get a big kick out of that, seeing that. So that's okay. But of course, it has to be at your child's eye level. So, you know, that's pretty difficult to, uh, to find a wall that's clear for 30 feet. So uh, if you can, you can use it on the floor. Uh, like I'm doing here. And of course you can make it a little smaller if you make your own, but be careful. Don't make it too small or uh, it's, it's just, kids just like, uh, like it bigger. It's easier for them to deal with when, when things are a little bigger. So uh, once again, be careful. Don't make it too small. Uh, as you can see, uh, I repeat, I've laid it out on the floor here. And uh, one of the things you can do, uh, a great exercise with your child, would be to uh, take the, the 10 sections apart and mix them up and see if the two of you can work together to put the number line back together again. And uh, that could be a, a challenging activity uh, for your child. Um, and, you know, in addition to doing something like that, you can also do all of the activities that you did with the 0 to 10 and 0 to 20 number line and to... Uh, to uh, remind yourself of what those are, you can, of course, go back to uh, lessons 14 and 15. And here I am, up on my ladder, looking down on the same number line, except now, uh, as you can see, obviously I've changed things around a little bit. I've stacked them, one on top of, of each other, and the way you would read the number line now is... Uh, Start at the top left-hand corner, you go left to right, and if we were reading, we'd say down the page, but in this case, we'll say down the lines. So you can, doing that, you can count all the way from 1 to 100. So in effect, um, it's sort of a more compact version of the, the number line. And uh, yes, it may take your child a little, uh, a little time to get used to it, but... Uh, uh, my experience is it, it won't take really that long, uh, just as long as you explain it to them just the way I explained it to you here. Um, what else do I want to say here? Well, uh, once again, you can do what you did with the 
long, long 30 foot long number line and uh, you can mix up the sections and then you and your child can work together to put it together and make it look just like this. And now here is the 0 to 99 number grid. And actually, um, you know, you go back to uh, what we just did there where we took the number line and stacked it. This should look very similar. All I've done here is um, I've shrunk it down and uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. Another thing I've done is I've started my number grid on zero. That one really starts on one, and there's a great advantage to that when you're working with your child. And uh, the advantage is, is that all of the 20s are on the same line, 30s, all the teen numbers are on the same line. And, uh, and if you start with one up here, that's not exactly the case. So that's a real advantage. So a slight shift, but hopefully uh, that, that won't throw you off too much. Reading the grid, well, uh, we've been through that already. It's just like reading a book. Start up here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we come back down here to 10, and on and on all the way down to the bottom of the page. And um, there are patterns here uh, that I need to point out to you that make it much easier for your child to uh, master this uh, new way of looking at the number line, which is, uh, in, in effect, a stacked number line. Um, I've already mentioned one of them to you, uh, all of the uh, single digit numbers, one line, all the teen numbers on one line, and right down the line, all the twenties are on one line. Uh, so those are the rows. If you go down in the columns, you'll see that uh, we start out with a single digit number and then of course a two digit number. Um, the, the ones digit always stays the same as you can see. The only thing that changes is the tens digit and it goes up by one. So working your way uh, down any column, uh, the numbers advance by 10. And of course, if you're working back up, they, they go down by 10. And those are important uh, things to know that, that you can uh, show to your child because it'll help him or her to uh, navigate this, uh, this number grid. Uh, it'll be much easier for them. As far as activities uh, you can do with this, well, the same ones you could do with any number line. So you can go back and, uh, you know, uh, to uh, I think it was lessons 14 and 15 and look at the activities we did uh, with the 0 to 10 and 0 to 20 number line and you can do the same thing on here. Obviously it'll take a little bit of a shift because now the number line is stacked, but uh, if you help uh, your child through it, she'll pick up on, uh, on that little difference, probably without too much trouble. All right. Um, there are two more activities uh, that are very good for uh, mastering this number line, and uh, they're not on the video, but if you go uh, to the early gifted manual, go to arithmetic, and finally to numeration, zero to 100, uh, two more wonderful activities that you can do with this number grid. Uh, you and your child can do with this number grid that will really uh, help her to uh, master it, to be a master of it. And uh, of course, that's what we're going for here. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is the ordinal numbers. Uh, we've made it up to, uh, I hope I'm right, I believe we've made it up to 19. And now we're going to take 20 to 99 all in one big bunch and it's easy because there's only one little uh, irregularity in the whole thing so you can tell your child uh, this number is 20 right and of course he, uh, he should agree with that and tell him the ordinal number is 20th and that's the only oddity in here when you go to this one you say 20, and then they're just the regular ordinals. First, 20, second, 20, third, 20, fourth, 20, fifth, and so on. 
down the line. And of course, then you get back here to uh, 30, and it's 30th. So uh, 10th, 20th, 30th, 40th, 50th, 60th, 70th, 80th, 90th. That's really the only uh, little oddity you have to teach your child to uh, learn all of these ordinal numbers all the way up to 99. So of course, uh, he or she knows them all already to 19, and you could just uh, go through them like I did, uh, perhaps uh, um, a row at a time and show her how that is done.